in the palace next to his bedroom. We did this massive scroll room because Alfred perpetuated the recording of events of history and it's the first time that it was ever done. So we've got, the, I think there's 10,000 scrolls in there. We made them all. <laughs> we, we did a lot of research on what the scrolls would look like. There's a lot of research on how they would have made the ends, what would the paper have been like, how long would the paper have been, what colour, what sort of texture. So we did a lot of research on that and then we had to make decisions about how we are going to make 10,000 scrolls. We did a bit of a feasibility and how many could one person make in a day, how many needed to be written on, how many needed to be blank. It was basically a lot of people manufacturing scrolls. The whole thing about Alfred and, and his his writings and recording history in the first monarch to see the value in that. The producers wanted to have priests with him at all times and we made sort of like portable writing kits that they could put round their shoulders so that priests could always be with him. It could be in their bag, they bring it out and they can write and scroll whenever he's saying something of importance. What do they write? They write what we speak. Every word? Yes, every word. In terms of historical uh, documents, I'm sure some of the scrolls do still exist in the British Museum or the British Library. It is I who is seeking an end to the fighting. That is what will be written. <laughs>